And the beer is 5.1% Czech beer. So these Sami apparently are excluded from the Swedish law that restricts alcohol to about 3.5%. This is, I think, 5.1 or 5.3. Anyway, the beer? The beer was 60 sec. $6. Six dollars? Yeah. I'll have to drink some. Oh, no, no, no. You a meal tonight in the restaurant. Naide. Or whatever it is. Let's see. Where's the uh, front door? It's probably here. Google Translate. Well, is this the front door? It's not obvious. So we get our own private dining room. Not quite sure why, because we ordered off the a la carte menu. All we said was we'd like fish. Beautiful restaurant. Lots of nice moose antlers. Moose antler lights. <laughs> Getting a ride away from the V town camp. Monash weekend. Monash weekend. Oh, see, we'd never have known how to pronounce that. We just call it the V place. Yeah. <laughs> Professional fishing guide. Now this is turning into a different kind of trip for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have ever guessed? One hundred forty, somewhere between twenty and thirty kilos. They get depends on what water they live in. Up here, where the water is so cold, they doesn't grow so fast. They get long, but doesn't heavy. It's it easy to catch a long pike here. Hmm. All that attention on the guy. Oh, a small one.
Super little town here. Today. And there's our hotel. Just Ooh, a few yeah. people staying there. Just a few for Thursday. We're on the bottom floor. Wonderful. Things, bread. Coffee machine, coffee. Sounds like German. Frühstück, but it's frost up. And yeah, nice scene. Inside the system, Bollegant estate. Swedish run liquor store. Good selection of red wines and white wines, ciders, champagnes and beers, including Corona for two dollars. Oh, okay. That's a hardware store and another plug. They have all the different kinds of gas canisters. Butane, pierce, screw on and press click. Twist click. Swedish church. Although from the look of it, it's going to be closed. Closed to us anyway. Is that the right time? Uh, what the right time? Well that, yeah, it's about 10 to 5. Well, we got to see what these buildings are about. The structures anyway. Very colourful. Let's see. A home as part of a Sami tradition. Turf and tent huts have been the most common type of dwelling. Uh, sing could be built in several different ways, from mobile tent huts to the sturdier timber huts. The type of semi-hut you see here was a common sight in the mountains about a thousand years ago. Eventually these huts with their sunken floor and surrounding roofs disappeared from the building tradition. Traces of these huts then became associated with an ancient time and the mythical Stalo people and through storytelling traditions called... called what? Stalo huts? Modern research now reveals that these remains have Sami roots and are part of an early form of reindeer husbandry practice. Hmm. You, oh, it's locked. Can't look inside, but we looked inside the kata. Probably the same. Yeah. So we're heading off on a seven kilometer walk close to Areplug. And uh, a bit misty today. It's going to rain this afternoon. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. Oh, sheesh. Addicted. We'll have to hurry ourselves up a bit. It's been flooding all over Sweden. Yeah. It's on the news, but... And in northeastern US. That's the Silver Museum over there. In the old church. Working to vocalism. Wow, it's like we're back in America already. He says this is pretty tame. Perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you need a break from the mosquito. 
Uh, pretty. Nobody else out here. What is it today? Wednesday? Tuesday? Shelter from the rain. Or snow. And uh, you can make barbecue out here. Yeah, this really is tame. It's kind of like uh, Great Basin National Park where <laughs> they had a similar walkway for the old and infirm. I guess I tick both those boxes at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, there's nobody else out here. They must all be young and active. I can wheel you in your wheelchair. Yeah, thank you. Uh, um, they're probably working actually. Ski lift. And they've even got the lights for night skiing. <laughs> that must be interesting. Ah, uh, here's a nice, quiet residential area in Araplug. Flying the Swedish flag. Yeah. It looks like a yellow cross. They have these big yeah. lights on the front of their cars so they can see in the dark winter. <laughs> there yeah. must be some must be really something else. Oh, you need it. Yeah, didn't Lisa say she ran into a reindeer, totaled her car. Yeah. Oh, she wasn't going that fast. Too whole reindeer. When I walk, a mission to climb Rimbergier, the reindeer mountain. Maybe we'll see some reindeer. Nice day though. There's lots of blueberries still. Oh yeah, you gotta bend oh, down yeah. to pick those. Gotta bend down. <laughs> you can feed me. Feed me blueberries. Yeah, okay. Right near the top yeah. of Rimbergier mountain. There's this little cabin. Wow, oh, super cool. Stove, kitchen, pot belly fire. Oh, fabulous. I wonder where they get the water from. There must be a stream here somewhere. Oh, oh this is super. Yeah. And there are a few mosquitoes outside, but not in here. Oh, nice view, too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. This has been a good place in the rain yesterday. There's the mountain Nicholas and Lisa took us up. And uh, we're much closer to Araplug now. The way down there is where the boat... All these lakes. Nice. It's a beautiful day. Hardly know this is all going to be snow covered soon. Well, it's 5 p.m. and we're heading back to Ariblug after climbing the peak and sitting for a long time in the summit cabin. And it's just a beautiful afternoon. Mm. Compared to yesterday at this time. <laughs> yeah. And the big storm came rain through. And all the electricity went out all over town. Yeah. Just like in Moikovac. So we didn't get blamed for it this time. <laughs> <laughs> So we came out for a little walk, heading back to Ariplug. It's very uh, rural. Hey, 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 hey. You, you good guy? Huh? Wakey the tail. Wakey the tail dogs. Yeah, it's really nice out here. All these houses on the lakes. Not many people. Not many tourists. No Americanos. And then winter happens and they're testing. <laughs> well, that must be a becomes a hive of activity. Must be a completely different scene then. It would be pretty interesting to see that. It shows some of the tracks on the GPS on the map yeah. Yeah. on the lake. kind of a string of islands here. And they got probably hydro generating plants, hydroelectricity. So apparently in the north of Sweden they generate 80% of 
uh, Sweden's electricity requirement all from Hydro. Quite impressive. Yeah, oh, you wouldn't want to fall in there. Woof. That'd be the end. So these are swing gates. We're coming up to the biggest of the water channels. Don't know that you call it a dam. This is kind of a dam. The hotel over there, the Carnarvon Hotel. And this is the deepest lake in Sweden. Carnarvon Lake. <laughs> Good fishing. Really good fishing. Right. Oh, fishing here. <laughs> wow, well, you get sucked under. The line we get sucked under. Into the maelstrom. <laughs> nice scene there. Eh? Very quiet. We were on that peak. We were on that peak. Then yeah, well, Nicholas drove us up that one. And then we were on Wind Bear Jet. Wind Bear Jet. Then we were on that one. Little one. Oper Jet. We've explored all over Ari <laughs> Yeah, great place this. It's beautiful. Clean, quiet. Make a video of our fabulous apartment here in Ari Plug. So here's the kitchenette. And those shorty tiny shoes. We love it here. We Living don't want to leave, here. but after seven days I think we have to go. Yeah. So Bedroom, messy bed, and bathroom, and a nice shower. Yeah, perfect this place. You could live here. <laughs>